Hello everyone, this is Stephen Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse and today I'm going to show you some more stuff in Illustrator. A question that comes to me quite often is how to add the Roland Color Libraries into Corel Draw and now I get the same question a lot of times on Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to add those swatch libraries into Illustrator. So you'll need to have VersaWorks installed on the computer that you're going to be doing this on and if not, you can still copy the files from another computer that has VersaWorks installed on it because those swatch libraries are contained within the Roland VersaWorks folder. So right now I have Adobe Illustrator open on the screen and if I go over to my swatches and try to open up the Roland VersaWorks swatch library, you can see that they're not listed in here. They're nowhere in there. So let's go ahead and add them in and see how that process works. What I'm gonna do is open up the go to your computer so your C drive and I'm opening this up uh, I've got a dual window system going on here so I gotta drag it over and then we're going to go into the C drive and down to program files and you would do this on the computer that has VersaWorks on it and we're looking for Roland VersaWorks so there's the folder right there and when we get into there there's a folder named swatch that swatch folder contains the swatches for Corel Draw, and this is what you would use if you're using Corel Draw X4 or older. In X5 and X6, the Roland libraries are already integrated into Corel Draw. And then you've got the folder for Adobe Illustrator. So once we open this up, there's all the swatch libraries for the different uh, Roland VersaWorks color systems, the metallic, texture, Roland VersaWorks itself, and the color system. And we're gonna copy those. So uh, right click on it and copy and then we're going to go back to that program files folder and in the program files folder what I'm looking for is my Adobe folder right here and then I'll go for Adobe Illustrator whichever version you have in the presets folder and English US EN underscore US that folder there and then there there'll be a folder called swatches so we'll open that one up and then control V copy those in there so I could have taken it from a different computer uh, and I'm going to give administrator sometimes uh, depending on your security levels within Windows it may ask you for administrator rights so you can take these from a computer that has VersaWorks and then copy it over to a computer that has Illustrator on it but not VersaWorks say a Mac and you could have those color libraries in there as well so you don't necessarily have to have VersaWorks on the computer that you're working with there so those are all in there I'll close this out and then when I come back over to my swatches and I go to the swatch library and open the library, now see there's all my Roland color systems in there. So VersaWorks would be the one that contains the cut line. So now it'll open up the Roland VersaWorks color swatch library, which I don't see it on my screen. It's coming up here. I don't know why it's not responding for some reason. Hopefully it'll come up in the system. There, there it is, right there. So now I've got my Roland VersaWorks swatch for cut contour, my white, uh, gloss, and metallic silver. And I could open up the other swatch libraries as well. Say I'm going to go to, uh, I need the Roland color system because I'm doing all those colors. So there's my Roland color system right there. And I could go back to Roland VersaWorks. So I got those two swatch libraries open now. And you can adjust the size of this however you want. I think I can drag this down here a bit so I've got all the colors showing and however you want it within Illustrator. But there's the two libraries and this has been a quick tutorial on how to add the swatch libraries into Adobe Illustrator. Hopefully it was helpful for you and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for stopping by.